Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer uh, request today, Crystal's uncle Harold Simmons is still in the ICU. Pray that he'll get better. Uh, Amy's aunt's sister is in the ICU. She almost didn't make it. The doctors are doing everything they can to save her. Pray that she'll be okay. And I had my uh, infusion uh, yesterday and uh, it all went well and everything. I just probably, for some reason it starts affecting my voice. I don't know why. Uh, almost every time it gets really rough and uh, I, I don't understand that, but uh, it makes me real tired, usually starting today this in the uh, morning, you know, later in the morning when I wake up. I, I do this very early in the morning, but not not before, you know, I go to bed and everything and then I get up and that's when it usually hits me. Uh, for some reason, it takes a while. And uh, I'll just be real tired for a few days and sore and stuff. It, it bothers my legs for some reason. And, that, but it's it's worth it. It's better being in the, than being in the hospital and having a, a surgery, emergency surgeries all the time, like I've had in the past. So it's it's definitely helping me. Okay, uh, Tammy had surgery Wednesday for a total pelvic floor collapse. Pray that it went well. She has to have another operation in the near future also. Beth has a respiratory and sinus infection. The doctor put her on antibiotics. Pray that they get rid of all infections. Uh, I think she has some other problems, other infected, like her, I think her ears might be. Um, Carol had knee replacement surgery Wednesday. Is that, uh, yeah, everything went well. Pray for a speedy recovery. Uh, pray for Amy's grandmother's sister. She's in the hospital and had a fatty liver test. Pray she has good results. Amy's family friend has an unspoken request. And Jackie Howard has problems with her knee, uh, joint effusion, uh, fluid, and possibly blood on the knee also. Pray that it gets better. And Spencer's angiogram confirmed an artery blockage. They're meeting with a cardiologist next week to see if a stent or bypass will be done. Pray all goes well. Well, I'm just glad that they found out what you know, what was uh, the problem, you know, instead of saying, well, we look, you know, we didn't, can't tell what's going on. That's always the worst thing is that when they say they don't know, you know, so I'm glad they know what they're uh, dealing with and just pray that everything goes well. <clears throat> okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Philippians 3, 10 through 21. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his suffering, sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. For, as I have often told you before and now tell you again even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will make, they will be like his glorious body. Amen. And, uh, 
And by the way, I, I failed to mention, uh, even in the video of the infusion, what I get them for. I, for, you know, don't realize I, I do realize, but I forgot to say, you know, I got a lot of new, uh, new people, uh, new friends here in our community. And I have Crohn's disease and I've had it since 1987. And I've had uh, at least 14 operations and I nearly died three times. So I just thought I'd give a little testimony. And that's the reason that I have these infusions now. Uh, back in the late 80s, they didn't even hardly know what Crohn's disease was. And they didn't have any types of medicines hardly. All they would give you is steroids, which are not good. They're not good, you know, to stay on. So they've made a lot of progress in them. So a lot of people are finding help now with these biologics that you get infusions for. Okay. Let's see. Okay. How has your perspective on life's challenges changed as your you've considered what Christ has done for you. What can you do to become radiant with the character of Christ? Merciful Jesus, when difficult circumstances come, please shine through me and help me point others to you. And Lord, I want to pray for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.